And then my friends, it's that time of the month again. My crave kit has arrived. And um, I want to get this unboxed. I've avoided spoilers this month. I've no idea what's in here. It's still sealed up. So I'm going to get this open. The crave kit is a keto-based subscription service here in the UK. Um, and then once a month, they will send you a box of keto-related goodies. I think everything's under five grams per portion of net carbs, I believe. Um, and this, some of this stuff is sourced from all over the world. And I've very rarely seen some of this stuff in the shop. So it's quite nice just to get a feel of what you can get available here and they also often include coupons and discount codes that kind of thing this is not a um sponsored post or a sponsored video in any way i don't get any discounts i pay full price um i will leave a link below to their service though um, i think maybe you could try their instagram you might get a discount code they sometimes do like a 15 percent off for you of your first one that kind of stuff i believe i paid 28.50 delivered for this box because i think i was one of the early adopters i think i might get a slight discount i'm not sure but going to their website it's going to be around that mark um and you know delivered to your house once a month they usually charge on the beginning of the month on the first and dispatch and deliver a mid-month like now so i'm going to open this up show you what i've got inside and want you guys to let me know what you think below do you think it's good value for money what looks interesting what is an absolute no um i have no idea what's in this box this month i've had some real absolute bobby dazzlers i've had some great months in fact i'm actually about to place an order for something i got in this box i think probably in march or april which was the fat bars i really like those and i've ordered them a couple of times from the manufacturer so i have found some really great things last month there was maple syrup which was awesome um and there i've had things like coconut oil coconut butter I've had a savoury snack, which I found some really amazing ones I can't get in the UK. And I'm like, ah! Um, I've had chocolate bars, I've had all sorts of things. So it feels quite heavy this month, which usually means jars. So I'm going to open this up and show you what I've got. And this is what you get in your kit. This is, I've just broken the seal. Let's have a look. You get a little guidebook uh, at the front just to tell you what to expect and what's going to be in here for the month. And there's also often links to their websites for the manufacturers and codes, that kind of stuff. And they give you some suggestions as well on how to enjoy it. So let's have a look and see what we have. Let's put that there. And let's look at... I do like, as I'm going along, to find it and learn a little bit more about what's in there. So what's this here? Ooh, Boost Balls. Mock, chocka Mocha Boost Balls. A bit crinkled. Boost Ball Burners. Ooh, is this like a fat bomb? I hope so. 3.86 per pack. And there is one, two, three, three balls in there. Oh, and they're vegan. Okay, and according to the uh, blah, 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 um, these are made with natural ingredients. These keto balls are perfect on the go snack and you can reorder as a discount code there as well. That's awesome. I think I spotted a second one. You get loads of packaging as well. I don't like these because you can't recycle them. I hope for they'll look at an alternative package in there. Oh, mint chop chip. Nice. So let's just check the, uh, quickly at the fat, bear with me. Per pack, 22.5. That's an amazing fat bomb. Ooh, I hope they're nice. Um, wonderful. So, again, this is 3.8 grams. I'm looking forward to trying them because I do like a good fat bomb. Um, that is awesome. That sounds good to me so far. And let's move on to the next thing. I recognise this packaging, which is... Ooh, duck fritons. Made for IPA. IPA is beer, if you're not familiar. I'll type of, it's a alcoholic um thing these company made for drink make food that is goes compatible with booze so if you glass of wine you might have some snacks um so this is uh savory mosses of crisp free range duck skin um, and again you can go to their website madeforddrink.co.uk and grab more i've tried some of the stuff in this range before and i found it's a little bit too oily for me um i'm not keen on animal skin so i don't if like with, with like animal fat in general, I have to force myself so that like sort of the fat on the steak or the skin on the chicken. I'm not a big, big fan, but um, occasionally I have pork scratches, but that's about it. Um, let's see what else we've got. Ah, now we've got a butter cookie. Now, this is the company fat bar I just mentioned, which is which is a coincidence. Um, and they've got a discount code here, and I'm about to place an order, so that's convenient. Um, I have the uh, long bars, which are like dried like dried fruit mixed with peanut butter and stuff, and they're sweetener free. So I don't, I'm trying to avoid polyols as much as I can, and that's helpful. But I'll try a cookie. It's supposed to be squidgy, not like a crispy cookie, but a soft cookie. Oh, okay, that's good. 
keep looking. You often get um, little um, coupons in the bottom of the box as well. What else have we got here? Biltong. I quite like Biltong. Um, it's quite easily available. I wonder what's special about this one. Just original beef. It may do other flavours. And if you want to try some more, go to Smallies Biltong. So smalliesbiltong.com if you want to order some. Um, but yeah, okay. A bit of Biltong. Lovely. Got a little bar of chocolate super duper dark chocolate with almond and sea salt and i'm not a mega chocolate lady um but i do occasionally have it um if i feel that particularly dark chocolate because keto you tend to have to have dark um i don't like dark chocolate it makes my face turn inside out um but let's have a look what's in here hazelnuts okay sweetener stevia oh, took me ages to find that okay Fair enough. Oh, nice to have a little emergency bar of chocolate when you're in the mood. Very good. We have a little little bottle here. Willie's apple cider vinegar with the mother. Now, I can't really have this. This is um, some people have this. Um, I think it's good for their gut, and I'm not going to go into that. I don't have it because the mother is actually yeast, and I try to be yeast free as possible because I'm intolerant to yeast. And the mother is actually yeast that's been put in there that grows. Um, if you buy regular vinegar and you get like a, a swirly in it, like looks like jellyfish, that is um, mother of vinegar, and it looks, it feels like jelly, and it, all it is is yeast that's got in there that's gotten warm and it's grown. And some people intentionally have it with apple cider vinegar um, as a tonic or a dressing. Okay, um, but say so I know mother of vinegar tends to be yeast, and I try to avoid it. But you never know if it's. I'll, I'll look a little bit more into that to see what what it says. Um, apparently a wellness of boost immunity and maybe even keep the, those carb cravings at bay. Okay, it's quite the statement. We have got here Keto Caveman Fruit, fruit Granola. Oh, okay. I've never heard of this brand. Is it a UK one? Uh, Ketonian Granola. Yes, a low carb, no sugar breakfast. Enjoyable yogurt milk or with some kefir and some berries. And you can order more and there's a discount code. 10% off. Okay. Now, I had that granola before. Do you remember, you guys? And I made granola bars of it, and it was the bomb. I'll see how I go with this. Um, but over 33% nuts. Um, ooh, raspberries. That sounds interesting. Okay. I am game. Um, I'll see how I go. Um, and then I've got a couple of things which are wrapped. So bear with me while I unpackage those. And the bigger bottle is some avocado oil, which is awesome. I don't think I've ever bought it, because I think it's a little expensive. So... I am a bit tight and I did, never bought it. Last month, they had the same brand and they had uh, macadamia oil. I did use that for cooking and I couldn't taste any sort of difference. But that's good to try, a bit of avocado oil. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it. I might use it for dressings or cooking. I'm not sure. That's cool for me to try that. And the last thing, weirdly, um, I was looking at this yesterday because um, this company is launched on a website that I quite look like that sells unusual things. Um, and I was looking at it thinking, oh, that sounds interesting. I'm not sure how I'd eat it though. I mean, I tend to eat with a spoon because, you know, I'm that kind of a girl. Um, for 100 grams, 9.4, which sugar, 3.5. So there's going to be in this whole jar, which is not inconceivable that someone might eat that uh, or half of that, it's about 18 carbs, I think. It's quite a bit, but I bet it's divine. But there you go. That's awesome. And that's my lot for this month, I think, by looks of things. So this is probably the smallest box I've had. Um, that's not a problem because there's this high value stuff, you know, I appreciate that I probably wouldn't have bought it otherwise. So I imagine that's probably about six pounds, seven pounds. The granola is probably about five. Um, this was, I think when I looked at it, 550 or 570, something like that. So there is definitely value here, but what do you guys think? Do you think this is worth 2850 delivered? Or do you think that this is a bit overpriced? What looks good to you? I am curious about pretty much all of it. Particularly these fat bar bombs, uh, they look really cool. Um, and I'm looking forward to using avocado oil, see how I want to use that. And that looks interesting as well. Um, the Caveman Keto Granola, I'm not sure about that because I'm not the biggest granola fan, as I've discovered after I bought loads of it and had to find something to do with it. But I'll give it a go because it does say raspberries, which is awesome. A little bit of chocolate's handy to have. I'm not sure about value for money, but it does look interesting. And none of these things I would have bought. That was the only thing I was considered uh, buying, and I only discovered that because of a, an email that I got a couple of days ago. So I am going to say this is a
about right for me. I can see the value in this one this month. And I am looking forward particularly to these fat bombs because if these are delicious, um, I will probably definitely order those if they are a good taste. Um, the, probably the cookie is a thing that I um, will be the last thing that I probably eat is because um, I find that the baked goods that I seem to be buying cause me to store. I don't know if this is bad luck. Um, and again, with this here, this is probably really expensive, but I try to avoid the yeast, so it's a bit of a bummer. Um, but yeah, not too bad. I'm very curious. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of you guys subscribe to the box um, and you always let me know what you think as well. So let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys think. And if you're not already and you like keto related content, press that subscribe button. I'd love to have you. So thank you so very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Drop that thumbs up or thumbs down. Let me know below what you think. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.